day in life, man. Another day in the life. You know what? I just dropped my mouse and it just bounces possibly as far away as it possibly could from me. You said what? I got it. All right. Anyway, um, we got an awesome show here tonight. Welcome to the Champion of Champions episode where all three of these contestants have previously won before. And they're going to become, they're going to attempt to become the champion of champion to be one of the nine contestants at the end of our season that will become the champion of champion of champions. So we got a great show, but for those who are not familiar with the show, what we do is we go on the internet and we talk about movies. We go ahead and we pick a movie and we talk about it for a little bit and we figure out what the internet critics and the internet audience scored this movie on a scale of zero to 100. Now, whoever's the closest to that score will get a point and then they get to pick the next movie. The only thing about picking the next movie is that the other two contestants have to be at least familiar with the movie. They may not have seen it, but if they're familiar with it, or is my voice cracked like a 14-year-old boy, the chat thinks that it is a movie that should be accepted, then we accept it. We're going to do that for about 40 minutes until we get into our rapid fire round where we're going to go ahead and stop talking about the movies and we're just going to start scoring them. So if your favorite streamer or one of your favorite, you know, people is in here tonight, stick around all the way to the end because the rapid fire round gets electric. Woo! Creature, did I miss anything? Nothing, but y'all know the rules and y'all know what? Uh, just a, the only thing that you missed is, uh, you know, if, if y'all can't think of something, you can refer to me or your boy. Love it, love it, love it. Now, if I can please get my three contestants to go ahead and request the box, we will get this show on the road. All right, our first contestant coming in here is Mr. Fix It. Hello, how are you doing? You do this every week, no, sir. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And then our second contestant here, we've got Jubilee. Hello, hello. And last but obviously not least, we've got lions, tigers, and bears. I'm just loving saying the the, the end part every time. Oh, my. How we doing, everybody? How's everybody feeling? It's hot. Good. I know Brad's not feeling the best here, but, you know, he's, he's, he's soldiering through, which I like to see. Hi, Chet is crazy. <laughs> I got a lot going on over here. Oh, my days. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, anybody have any questions before we get the show on the road here? Nope. All right. Let's pitter patter. Let's get at her. Creature, what do you got for us for our first one? All right. Let's start off with Friday. Fridays. Everyone's <laughs> seen Friday. Yes. All right, so we're going to start off here with Mr. Fix-It. What do you remember from the movie Friday? Uh, the two guys sit on the porch. That's about all okay. I remember. Oh, and Big Worm's head in the cover. That's what, one thing I remember. See there you go. Now you're getting it. Now you're you you know you just gotta let the you gotta let the thoughts you know just trickle in there. All right. What do you think? The critics scored this movie on a scale of zero to one hundred. Uh, audience probably eighty-five. Uh, seventy-six for critics. How much? All for right. Critics? 76. Okay. All right, let's go on over to Jubilee. What do you remember from the movie Friday? My neck, my back, my neck and my back. <laughs> oh, I'm suing you right now for $25,000. But we can leave right now for some stamps. $2,000 and, and a roll of stamps. I would say critics probably gave it a 40 and audience probably a 60. A 40 and a what? 60. And a 60. Okay. Sorry. It's hard to hear. Okay. All There's right. A fan going behind your head that's at a million miles an hour. I'm surprised you haven't lifted off. <laughs> All right. Lions, Tigers, and Bears. What do you remember from the movie Friday? Well, I was going to say what she said. 
um, about the remembering and um, I'm going to go 65 and 70. Just one part that makes O'Reilly's. Who's where is? Where did O'Reilly? Where did O? No, first of all, no free ads. And where did O'Reilly's auto parts just come from? <laughs> oh my! Oh my goodness! All right. Did somebody hit the free ad button? <laughs> All right, Friday. The critics gave this movie a 54%. The audience gave this movie a 73%, putting the first person on the board tonight with lions, tigers, and bears. <laughs> lions, welcome to the board. Well, thank you. Um, how about we? Beauty and the Beast. Are we going with the cartoon? Yes. Beauty and the Beast. 1991. All right. What is your favorite scene from Beauty and the Beast? Well, it would have to be uh, when she goes to the library to pick another book, and he's like, well, you've already read it five times. <laughs> Which is my favorite part of the that whole show. <laughs> I love um, that. I love that. I'm going to go with the critics at 70 and the the other one is 80. The audience 80. Okay. All right. Mr. Fix it. Uh Favorite part would have to be the fighting scene when all the things come, all the characters oh, come the out. Be our guest. B. No, oh. the fighting part. Oh, the fighting part. Yeah. I didn't Where they go to go to the castle or whatever. Oh yeah, and everything just like, oh yeah, like the tea like pours tea on one of like the people. They're like ah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Do you remember that? 85 critic, uh, 93 for audience. All right. I missed your first number, but it's all right. Go ahead. Jubilee. What do you remember? Uh, I'm a hopeless romantic. I love the part where they fall in love. They like, like are so excited. Anyways, then they dance in the ballroom. That's like magic. I love that part. Tell us all this time. <laughs> and I'm going to go um, 88.95. Our first price is right of the evening comes in the second round. That's for calling me Chet. <laughs> what are that? I didn't even know I posted that today. I'm sorry. <laughs> It's okay. <laughs> between the three of you, this was separated by nine points. And between two of you, it was separated <coughs> by one point. The critics gave this movie a 95%. The audience gave this movie an 83%. Winning by one point is Jubilee. <laughs> Jubilee, wow. welcome to the board. Yep. Um, has anybody seen the movie Black Sheep? Love that movie. No, Chris, Chris Farley. Farley. Love that movie. Chris Farley. No, you haven't, Lions? Lions? Okay. No from Lions. Lions and Tigers, no. All right, strike one. Um, what about uh, Tommy Boy? <laughs> I've heard of oh, it, my. yes. Okay. All right. What about you, Mr. Fixit? Yep. All right. Let's go with Tommy Boy. All right, Tommy Boy. What do you remember from this from the movie Tommy Boy? 
Pika. Uh, I think it was the, what was it? He was putting on his jacket and he like, he was like, you're not going to fit in that jacket. And he's like, I'm going to fit in this jacket. And he like, ripped it. That guy <laughs> in a little coat. That yeah. guy <laughs> in a little coat. Oh, Richard, <laughs> hug me. Um, I'm going to have to say, though, it's probably really low, like, Critics probably gave it like a 40, audience probably a 50. Okay. okay. All right. Lions, tigers, and bears. Well, since I really haven't seen the movie, I'm just going to rate it at a 55 and 60. I like it, I like it. Across the board? I love MC. Okay. You're saying 55 uh, and more? She said 55 and 60. 55, oh, 55 and 60. 60. All right. All right, Mr. Fixer, what do you remember from Tommy Boy? Tom, what the hell did I just uh, say? Tommy Boy. Jesus. Richard, what are you doing by the window? Ooh, there's a pretty girl down there. Who's your favorite <laughs> little rascal? Is it Alfalfa or is it Spanky? Uh, I'm gonna go about uh, 48, 57. 4857. Okay. Wow. This one is definitely going to be close, guys. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Y'all are definitely playing it close. I like this. This makes it more fun. This this one between the three of you is separated by 5 points. And once again, 1 point off for somebody. Critics gave this movie a 40%. The audience gave this movie a 90%. Jubilee wins by one over Mr. (laughs) Fixin. I don't think in the history of this show I've ever seen back-to-back somebody losing by one point. Wow. That is a first. That is heartbreak on the dance floor if I've ever seen it, Mr. Fix It. Yep. That is a first. Sorry, I'd rather oh. lose the pet than anyone else. All right, now, do you believe before you pick your next movie, I got to hit the quick promo here? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Cinema Score, your boy and creature feature show. I am your host, your boy. This is my beautiful co host, Creature. Here, what we do is we go on the internet and we talk about movies. We figure out what the internet audience and the internet critics score the movie on a scale of 0 100. But stick around because in the next 30 minutes, here, we're going to go into the rapid fire round. We're going to stop talking about the movies. We're going to score them. If you'd like to be on the show, please hit my wonderful admins. We got Emoji J, Micah, and Vampy. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> Jubilee, what do you got for us next year? Um, what about Back to the Future? The original Rick and Morty. I can't really say hope, I've really ever seen something. it, but I've heard of it. Ah! <laughs> <What>? <laughs> You've never seen Back to the Future? Chat, chat, you, we all know what has to be typed. Do you we know, all what know. DeLorean is? We all know what has to be typed. Do you know what a DeLorean is? Yeah. Oh, okay. So you've never seen Back to the Future? Nope. We got homework. We've got homework. All right. I really don't watch too many movies. Well, that was the, let's just say that was the famous car of the movie. We'll just say that. But it's on Jubilee. You go right ahead. <laughs> um, I think one of my favorites is uh, when he's playing at the, his parents' prom, you know, and he's trying to get them together, and he's he's doing the love song, and then he does the Johnny Be Good. I like that scene. I don't know why. I always love that scene. Um, 
I'm going to say, uh, <clears throat> let's see, 1985, was it? Um, uh, probably yep, it. probably uh, yeah. 75% for the critics and 85 for the audience. 75, 85? Is this yeah, Chuck Berry? You know that new sound you was looking yeah. for? You might want to listen to this. All right, Lions. All right there, Lions. What do you think? Um, Let's go 78. And an eighty-four. Okay, well, hold on. Well, since you didn't know anything about the movie, tell us tell tell us what you know about a DeLorean. My, I just know that it's a famous car and it's fast. Oh, it's a famous car. Wow. Okay. All right. Look, I'm gonna hit the one hundred for that one. Famous. Car. <laughs> Heck yeah. Back right. to the future. Their part would have to be probably the skateboard with the manure. <laughs> How do we uh, not have hoverboards? Right. What's that? How do hoverboard. we not have hoverboards? I want. I've always wanted one of those. Everybody wants a hoverboard. I I'm gonna go with the um seventy. For critics, I uh, ninety for audience. Seventy and ninety. Okay. All right. Um. Wow. This one could get interesting one way, and very well could get interesting the other way. Wow. No. This I, is such. This one was. So not only do we have a tie. But one of the the other person was gone off by two points. <laughs> this is you guys are making me math today. The critics gave this movie a ninety three percent. The audience gave this movie a ninety five percent, both tying with twenty eight. Mr. Fix It and Jubilee get a point. <laughs> Mr. F now, since this is Mr. Fix It's first point, I would like to welcome him to the board and I'm going to let him go and pick the next movie. Yes, that sounds uh, How about Ghostbusters? The original <laughs> Ghostbusters. Lions, I swear to God. We're you all see Ghostbusters, right? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Sweet baby Jesus. Thank you. I was about to flip a table over and got <laughs> Poor lions. I was about to get be like, oh God, get on everybody. <laughs> All right. What is your so Mr. Fixer, what is your favorite scene from Ghostbusters? Get her. All right, that was good. I didn't see that coming. I did not see that coming. Uh, good team, good team. Okay. Uh, 80 critics, 93 uh, audience. All right. Oh, man. <laughs> <clears throat> Jubilee, what do you, what do you, what's your favorite scene from uh, uh, Ghostbusters? Uh, uh, probably when he got slimed. So like, you know, he's in the hallway and the slimer's like, ah, you know, he's got the hot dogs in his mouth, you know, and then he's like, yo, 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 and then he's like, ah. <laughs> so makes me laugh. <laughs> um, let's see, this is what nineteen eighty four was this nineteen eighty six? What was this? This was eighty four. Okay. Um, I want to say critics probably 75, audience 90.
All right, Lions, what's your favorite scene from Ghostbusters? I like the part where he gets slimed as well. <laughs> Slimer, Slimer's How everybody's favorite character. <laughs> That's so cute. And you seen the newest one? Thank you, Bulldog. No. I'm going to He's go. Seventy and eighty. The critics gave this movie a ninety five percent. The audience gave this movie an eighty eight percent. Winning by two points, back to back, Mister Fix It. Good job. Let's go. Uh, Jurassic Park. Sorry. What was it? Jurassic Park. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Jurassic Park. You never seen you Jurassic you know, Park. Really? I won't watch it. I'm not going to do it. Sorry. I know what it's about, though, so I, I'll play along, but I, I won't watch it. <laughs> Are you afraid of dinosaurs? <laughs> They're not. They've been extinct for like 80 million years. I'm not doing it. <laughs> what about the little cute one? They're like... Why is okay. All right. All right. Anyway, <laughs> what do you remember from the movie Jurassic Park, Mister Fix? It? Uh, favorite part was always when uh Jeff Goldblum's character got eaten or partially eaten. Jeff Goldblum never gets partially eaten. Yeah, he does. Yeah, true. Oh yeah, he does. Wait. I'm thinking of, uh, I was thinking of the other guy. I was thinking yeah. of Sam Neill. Uh, Whoops, my bad. I'm going to go with 85.95. Okay, so just to, you know, just take some time here. I am very curious about Jubilee's random fear of dinosaurs. I never, said I, was, I never said I was afraid of little dinosaurs. I just don't like dinosaur movies. I just don't. I don't know. <laughs> like, what about little they, lizards? They're, like, they're just like big lizards. <laughs> um, I do know that it was written by Michael Crichton. Does that give me any brownie points for that? That definitely gives you brownie points. I will give that to you. Okay. <laughs> um. I'm going to say uh, critics, uh, 89, audience, 95. Lions, what do you remember? Uh, where they're walking in and um, they're looking at all the dinosaurs. Oh, I'd have to say it would be my favorite part because I, I like the dinosaur. See, see, see that, Jubilee? Irrational fears. You know, <laughs> I'm not there scared. You go. I'm not a scared. <laughs> Spiders, I'm yes. Gonna go, <laughs> I'm going to go 70 and 80. My personal favorite part is when the raptor tricks the guy and he looks at her and just goes, clever girl. And then just. Yep. Thanks. That, that's uh, that or when Jeff Goldblum walks up to a big pile of, and goes, that is a big pile of. We're featured. I can't say the last part. I can't say the last word there, unfortunately. The critics, though, gave this movie a 92%. 
audience gave this movie a 91 percent oh jubilee with the point now before you pick your next movie i'm gonna hit the promo real quick Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Cinema Score, your boy and creature feature show. I am your host, your boy. This is my beautiful co-host, Creature. What we do is we go on the internet and we figure out movies, and we figure out what the internet critics and the internet audience score these movies on a scale of 0 to 100. We're going to do that for another 15 minutes, and we're going to do our rapid fire round. We're going to stop talking about movies, and we're going to start scoring them. If you'd like to be on my show, hit up my wonderful admins. we got Emoji J, Micah, and Vampy. Boom! <laughs> I almost passed out. I almost passed out, but we made it. Okay, um, what about Pulp Fiction? Such a good movie. No. Okay. Um, uh, what about Lord of the Rings? Lord of the Rings. Yeah. The first one. The Fellowship of the Rings. Never watch it, but I'll do it. Thank you, Red. Okay. What a gentleman. Star Wars is the only trilogy. Right. Well, then, uh, what is your favorite scene from Lord of the Rings, Jubilee? <laughs> um, I like it when, uh, you know, they're all discussing about what they're going to do with the ring, and then the hobbits all come around, and they're like, okay, I guess we're going to include you. And they're like, great, where are we going? <laughs> well, we've already had one breakfast. What about a second breakfast? <laughs> uh... Um, okay, Lord of the Rings. I'm going to say, uh, um, 88%, 90%. All right, Lions, what do you remember from the movie Lord of the Rings? Um, well, it's been a while, but I like the little alien dude. Oh, uh, oh, oh, God. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. oh, God, what was his name? Smeagol. Smeagol, thank um, you. Yeah. Um, I was about to play around with R2D2. Nerd. Um, wrong, wrong nerd, nerd. <laughs> I was about to mess around on that one. Let's go seventy five eighty five. All right, Mr. Fix it. What you obviously have not did you even did you read the book? No, but I know little bits and pieces of the movie. I've fallen asleep every time I tried to watch it, so Well, I mean it is a three hour movie. Yeah. Because you know Star Wars is the original right. trilogy, so I swear. I swear to God, like, your background is amazing because when you lean your head back, it looks like you're freaking conehead. I swear to God. Oh, no, no, right there. Right. Yeah, thank there. you for getting off topic. Maybe that could be the next movie. I'm sorry. That, that, is, that, is, that is such a conehead. I'm sorry. It is. It's perfect. Uh, favorite part would be the guy with the beard that looks like uh, Gandalf. Gandalf the Grey. Yeah, he uh, looks like uh, Magneto. Well, <laughs> not falling for it. Not falling for it. Give me the scores. Give me the scores. Give me the scores. I'm not falling for it. Give me the scores. I'm going to go 90, 98. No, wasn't, no, wasn't doing it. Wasn't falling into that trap. Not today. Uh, I just loved Gimli, the dwarf guy. He, he was just my favorite. He just kind of, he was like, yay tall. Just kind of doing his thing. Like in the first battle, he like looks at leg log. He's like, I've got three kills already. He's like, I'm at 27. He's like, what? He's all upset. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right. I, anyway, I digress. No, the critics ahead. gave this movie a 92%. The audience gave this movie a 
Mr. Fixit, who can't even make it through the movie, gets the point. Oh. All right, Mr. Fixit. Mr. Fixit. Yes. Eyes right here, please. Please, please. All right. I'm trying to think of a movie, so. Yeah, you don't have to look it up. You got to keep eyes on screen, please, please, please. I have three movies around me. I, I get I get it, but you know what I mean? We've caught, like, multiple cheaters. There's no need, you know what I mean, for that. And I'm not calling you a cheater. I'm just saying it just keeps you from someone else in the stream that watches the show every time, you know what I mean, for you to be called one. So just eyes on screen, please. You know what I mean? All right. I... Uh... Uh, Halloween. The original. Halloween. Yeah. I've seen. I've seen it. Lions. Yeah. Lions and tigers. You good? Yeah. All right. All right. We're good. All right. Mm-hmm. Halloween here. What do you remember from that one, uh, Mr. Fix? Uh, the doctor guy, I forget what his line was, but he always says it every movie. It's like my favorite thing. The darkness in his eyes. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go with the 76, 88. Okay. All right, Jubilee. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why, but every time, like when you know they were driving to the the psychi- the psychiatric you know place and stuff like that, and they see everybody walking around, and he gets out to figure out what's going on. Anyways, he he gets in the car and he drives away. I keep thinking to myself, how the hell? Like he's literally been in this <laughs> place his entire life. How the hell does he know how to drive a car? <laughs> Every time, um, movies. I'm gonna say, but night. I know, right? <laughs> Let's see. This is John Carpenter's like one of his first movies. I'm gonna say pretty low though, probably like forty percent and probably sixty percent. Wow, big difference there. Okay, all right. Okay, lions and tigers. What you got? Yeah, I would have to agree with Jubilee about them driving the car to the psychic, whatever it was would have to be my favorite part as well. Um, I'm going to go 50-55. Okay, all right. Got a little bit different of a stretch here, but it could get very interesting one way. We shall see. The critics, as I drop my piece of paper, uh, the critics gave this movie a 90%. Shut up. The critics gave this movie no an 85%. Mr. Fix It with another point. Good job, Brad. Good job. Uh, thank you, Jet. Chat. What did you say? I said thank you, chat. <laughs> oh. You're gonna get it so bad later. <laughs> Wait till you battle somebody. <laughs> the score is four, four to one. Lions, don't worry though. You got the rapid fire round coming back. That's where I've seen comebacks way bigger than this. I'm telling you, just just don't worry, because I will tell you. Hey, you can come back from this one. This is nothing. Three wins away from a tie. Remember that. How about uh, Avatar? Avatar. Avatar. No. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wow. In the chats, everybody, type homework for Jubilee. She has not what? seen it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Homework. 
Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? And that is like mm -hmm. such a great movie to rate also. Oh my gosh. All right. Strike one, Mr. Fix It. That sucks. Um, <laughs> Jeez, creature. I'm just being honest. Over here, LL. It's a fun movie to rate. It really is. Jaws. What? Jaws. Jaws. All right. Oh, Jaws. Jaws. See, we got that, <laughs> we got that southern well, accent Everybody right says here. it differently. You know what I'm saying? Everybody like, just said Jaws like, differently. Jaws. Right that makes me, we, we and that's what makes me love America. Jaws. Is everybody good with Jaws? Hello? Yes. Jaws? It is Jaws. Okay. All right. It's on you, Mr. Fix. All right. Favorite part would be uh, I don't even have a favorite part. I just love everybody getting eaten by the shark. You ever seen the eyes of a shark? Kind of look like doll's yeah. eyes or yeah. lifeless and like yeah. and they roll back into their head when they yeah. bite you. Uh, the music is my part. I love that part. That's the whole favorite. Part. What was that? Closer, you can really hear me. Seventy-five, eighty-five. Seventy-five, eighty-five. Okay. All right. Jubilee. Jaws. Dana. I need a bigger boat. Yeah. We need a bigger boat. <laughs> um, that's not God, the line. Oh the, that's not I the know, line. I know, I know, I know. I know, I know, I know, I <laughs> know. The line is, you're going to need a bigger boat. Oh, yeah, that's right. You're going to need a bigger um, boat. This isn't movie trivia. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Could easily <laughs> turn into it. Um, well, this is 1970, what, 77, 78? Oh, you were off on this one, 75. Oh, damn. Okay. Um, oh. I'm going to say 72% and 84%. 72. Oh, yeah. No price is right him at all. Not, not even a little bit. <laughs> Just a hair. <laughs> Just a hair. Chet. <laughs> Why? <laughs> What do you remember from Jaws? Well, I really enjoyed the music and the sharks eating the people, and I just Duh. kind of love the movie. Duh. I'm going to go Duh. 90 95. 90 95. Wow, you really thought highly of that really class F of a fake shark. I'm just going to say that. That's what I would give it. That shark came out 40 years ago. What do you want from the people back then? I, I call it still an F. I give it an F. I'm just saying. I give I it an F. Right better, so. Haters going to hate, apparently. Well, somebody somebody was right here. The critics gave this movie an 87%. The audience gave this movie an 87%. That would put uh, uh -oh. lions and tigers with the point. Uh -oh. Nice. I hated the graphics. The graphics uh, suck. Looks like we lost. We lost one. The Jaws theme is my alarm. Junk food. <laughs> See, all right, we're good. We're good. We're good. All right, just so you lions and tigers. Uh, hopefully, Jubilee will be back. We'll see. Um, let's go. <laughs> okay, let's go. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Okay, cool movie. Everybody good with that? All right, okay. All right, it's on you, uh, Lions and Tigers. This is going to be confusing, but we got it. Um, I like when they're trying to hunt for the golden ticket and 
the guy asked the per the teacher asked for the percentage and he said one or two i forget how many and he goes well it's kind of hard to do that percentage so he just made up a number i would have to say that would be my favorite movie or favorite part and i'm going to go 80 85. I hate it when people leave the box because now DJ your boy is blacked out. But it's all right, Mister Fix It. It's only Trust sorry, me, in a few I will sorry, be. Sorry, sorry. In, a few, in a few hours I will be. Don't worry. It'll be same, no, same, but different. You're blacked out already, cuz I'm just saying. It makes me want to leave the box. Oh, I think we're talking about something different. Yeah, like you're. I can hear you, but you're blacked out, dude. All right, now we right. go to Mister Fix It. My favorite part would be the ad lib part that Gene Wilder added with the where he's walking out like cripple and does the tumbling. I uh, I'm gonna go with eighty ninety. Eighty ninety. All right. Okay. Jubilee, what do you remember from the old chocolate factory? Um, I like it when uh, the girl eats the, uh, you know, the gum and then she blows up into a blueberry. Literally my favorite part. And they roll her out like a big fat bowling ball. I like um, it. I, I like it. I would have to say um, 88, 92. <laughs> Said 80, 92? 88, 92. Very close. Is nobody going to bring up the fact that the grandpa, like, oh, I haven't been able to work for 25 years or whatever, I've been in this bed. All of a sudden, Charlie wins the ticket. He's like, oh, my God, my legs magically work. Oh, my God, would you look at that? I mean, he was a little wobbly at first. Give him a little bit of credit. Yeah, as wobbly as Gene Wilder was when he did that role. <laughs> the critics gave this movie a 67%. Audience gave this movie a 79%. She's on a roll. Lions and Tigers with another <laughs> one. Run but, down. ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our talking part of the show. And we're, now we're going to move into the rapid fire part of the show where we're going to stop talking and we're going to start going. Start, we're just going to start scoring. As of right now, I've got Mr. Fix It with four, I've got Jubilee with four. And I've got lions, tigers, and bears with three. This is anybody's race, ladies and gentlemen. Stick around. If you'd like to be on the show, hit up my wonderful admins. We've got Emoji J, Micah, and Vampy. Vampy. Creature! Y'all ready? Rapid fire round. Let's go. Here we go. Let's go. E.T. My birth, sir. It will be on lions and tigers. I'm going to go 70, 80. Mr. Fixit. I 85, 95. Eighty seven ninety two. Oh, wow. Critics gave this movie a 92%. The audience gave this movie an 82%. Jubilee with the point. <laughs> All right. 
Okay. All right, let me look at how old y'all are. Um, Homeward Bound? 48. Homeward Bound? Homeward Bound. Homeward Bound. I love that movie. I swear Wait, to God, I need a dog old? after that movie, dude. Oh I love God. that movie. I cried like a little girl in that movie. I need dogs after that movie, bro. For real. All right, I cannot believe you, Jubilee. You let me down. All right, okay. Sorry. 101 Dalmatians, since we're going to stick on the dog. Let's go. Cartoon or the uh, live the live version? Which... Whatever one you're familiar with. Come on. <laughs> I know the cartoon one really well. <clears throat> That's the one we're going with then. Okay. Um, shoot, that was 1960. Uh, I'm going to say um, 84, uh, 94. All right, it's on you, uh, Lions and Tigers. I'm going to go 90 and 95. Okay. All right, Mr. Fix. 86, 96. 86, 96? <laughs> yes. All right, okay. 86, 96. All right. The critics gave this movie an 83%. The audience gave this movie a 79%. Jubilee, back to back. <laughs> All right. Okay. Oh, well, we got a mail over here. I don't know. I'm going to try you, bro. I'm going to see if you've seen it. Magic Mike. No, but I know it. I know scenes from it, so. All right. It's okay. All right. Forrest Gump it is. Shot the dice. What was it? Forrest Gump it is. Forrest Gump. Forrest Gump. Okay, I'm going to say Forrest Gump is 92, um, 97. All right, uh, lions and tigers. I'm going to go 88 and 94. Mr. Fix it. Uh, 85, 98. 85, 98. All right. This one could be very, very, very close, y'all. Very, very close. The critics gave this movie an 82%. The audience gave it a 78%. Lions and Tigers with the point. All right. Okay. So, 21 Jump Street, Channing Tatum. Yes and yes. Yep. yep. All three yeses. We did it. All right. Lions and Tigers is on you. 70, 75. 70, 75? Yeah. All right. Now it is on, um, now it's on Mr. Fix It. Uh, I'm gonna go with 70, 80. 70, 80. Okay. All right, Julie. I'm gonna say 60, 70. 60, 70? Yeah. Wow, you didn't like that movie. You didn't think that movie was too well, huh? The critics gave this movie a 69%. <laughs> nice. 
The audience know. gave this movie a 79%. Mr. Fix It with the point. <laughs> Bro, you are two points off. Wow, that was nice. Nice. All right. Uh, let's go with 50 first dates. Yes, yes, and yes? Yep. Everybody said yes, yes. Thank you, Junk Food. 50 first dates, that is on Mr. Fixie. Did the Panthers win the Stanley Cup? That's what she just said. Yeah. Let's go. Sorry to interrupt the show. Okay. Uh, 8593. Jubilee. Uh, 70, 80. 70, 80. Okay, all right. Lions, Tigers, and Bears. I'm going to go 8293. What was your first number? 82. 80 and then 93? No, 82 and 93. 82. 8293! I can't hear you when you're doing. You just write it down. There you go. You have it. Good God. I'm like vampy. My freaking ears. Like, Jesus Christ. We got a kid in the background, guys. Sorry. It's a half of your wedding. We got a kid in the first screen this way. Yeah, you better have dealers. The, the critics gave this movie a 48%. The audience gave this movie a 64% jubilee with the point. Hell boy. Hey, Elmo. <laughs> you never Are you kidding me? No. <laughs> What type of movies do you like, first of all? <laughs> first, first of all. <laughs> no time for these questions. Keep picking movies. No, I'm not striking out. I don't roll that way. Sorry, sir. Back off. That was one movie. The Water Boy. Adam Sadler. It would be on you, Jubilee. I'm going to say 50-50. All right. 50-50. I like it. All right. And then, uh, I would would freaking throw my phone in. Lions Lions and Tigers. I'm sorry. I'm going to go 85-90. All right. Mr. Fix It. I go 4852. <laughs> 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 You gotta love a good Price is Right tactic. The critics gave this movie a 41%. The audience gave this movie a 79%. The Price is Right worked. Mr. Fix It gets the point. Price is Right. Price is right. Price is right. <laughs> wait till uh, you battle somebody. I cannot wait. <laughs> I'm petty. I'll battle, so. Little Nikki. All right. Okie dokie. Neighbors. (laughs) 
Uh-oh. Let's go. Neighbors it is. It is on you, Mr. Fixit. Uh seventy six eighty five. Seventy six eighty five. It's on Jubilee. Seventy eighty. Seventy eighty. <laughs> All right, you know the drill. Lions and tigers. I'm going to go seventy-three eighty-three. Seventy-three eighty-three. Okay. All right. This one shall be interesting as well, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be very good. The critics, <clears throat> the critics gave this movie a 68%. The critics gave this movie a 63%, getting the point, and the newest champion of champion, Jubilee. <laughs> Now, before you speak about, before we have you speak, uh, Creature, you got anything going on that you want to everyone know about? Nothing much, brother. Uh, nothing planned as of the moment. I just want everybody to make sure that they got me and you and uh, all the admins favorited. Please, uh, if y'all don't, uh, let me know and I will make sure that I got you favorited back. Uh, that's just how I roll. So if uh, we're all favorited, we're good. Love it, love it, love it. Lions and tigers and bears. What do you got going on coming up I on the app? Nothing going on at this. Lions, point. tigers, and bears. I need your favorite. I already Mr. favorited Fix you. It. I need your favorite. I've had I've you favorited you. a long time ago. I got both. <laughs> I got both y'all favorited. Jubilee's the only one that I, I, I know that had favorited me. <laughs> Jeez. Jubilee is the only one that knew they had favorite of me, to be honest. Wow. No, so I just nothing going on there, Lindy. Anything They're you want to really shout sad. out or anything like that? No, I don't have anything going on. Awesome, awesome. Mr. Fixie, you got anything coming up or going on we need to know about? I uh, let Jubilee go. I'm red. Sorry? Oh, I'm, I'm, I thought that was somebody else. Sorry, I'm messing with him. Let Jubilee go first. Jubilee? Go first. What? No, unfortunately, that's not how this works here. We need uh, she is the champion. She gets to go last. She goes last, bud. Okay. But we'll I, I gotta here. go to work early, brother. I will see y'all later. Thank y'all so much. Y'all did an awesome job tonight. Thank y'all so much. I am blocked you, creature. Y'all did. I awesome. paired you back, I guess. Uh, oh, let's wow. see. What do I got going on? Um. What's today? Okay, I see it. Uh, I have a match game on the 26th. I have Tic Tac Trivia on the 29th. I the Changing the Narrative with Beer Reader on the 30th. I, I have the my show on Fridays at 5, and I do a trivia show on Sundays at 3. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And 